So the, the, the final thing I'll just say is, if you look at all the things that are going on and you see, you see big tech, you see the corporate media, although they weren't very happy with Virginia last night if you were watching some of that. Uh, that was some major coping going on. Uh, if you look at that, if you look at what's going on with, with some of the big corporations with their woke agenda, when you look at the Biden, the Brandon administration in terms of what they're doing. <laughs> Like, do you know how that started? Like, it was, and, and like, you know, you have the media, they're hand-wringing over this. Um, but, you know, it was at a NASCAR race, and they're doing an interview with a driver. I guess his name was Brandon. And the crowd starts chanting very colorful language about Joe Biden. And it was obvious that, that they were doing. And, um, you know, it, it is what it is. First of all, they said way worse about Trump for four years. We know that. Um, but so they're chanting this, and so you have a reporter from NBC who knows that's what they're saying, and she's trying to cover for Biden, so she says, yeah, they're chanting, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> and that was a lie, and it was a lie, and so the, this chant, I think, has taken on a life of its own because it exposes uh, the dishonesty of these corporate reporters and what they do every day to try to lie. And so now you see it. But bottom line is we've got a lot of things that, that, that we're facing. We've now seen after Virginia, people are willing to fight back. And, uh, and you know I'm willing to fight back, and we are fighting. And so what we need now more than ever with all the stuff that's going on so we need people to stand for the right things, but they need to stand up and they need to display courage and backbone and not back down in the face of all the things that we uh, have to deal with. And so that's what we're uh, looking to do. Churchill used to talk about when uh, they were facing the appeasement in Britain when you had Nazi Germany. He told the story because no one was willing to stand up. And he said, when I was a kid, I remember when the circus would come to town, and my Nana told me, there's one thing that you can't see because it's too grotesque for human eyes. It's an exhibit called the boneless wonder. And Churchill said, they ask me now, where is this boneless wonder? And he's like, it's no longer in the circus. It's in the front row of the House of Commons because these people don't have a spine and they're not willing to stand up. We... We don't have time for boneless wonders right now. We need people who are going to stand up, hold the line, not back down. I'm doing that. We're doing a lot. But I've only begun to fight in the state of Florida. Thank you, guys. God bless. Thank you.